People of YouTube, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, tonight is going to be an epic video. Uh, I'm headed to a place called the Hidden Valley, uh, and it is hidden. Uh, first seen it on Instagram. Oh, this place will not disappoint. But first, I'm going to take a bimble down the beach because it's on the way. So, to the beach. A bit windy i don't know how much you can hear um yeah so i've come down the beach oh this beach is just incredible check this out you might recognize it from some of my videos where i've fl flown the paramotor this is where i tend to fly um reason i've come down here is uh, basically not to get blown away by the wind quite often you can see um sort of pods of dolphins uh, basking sharks, I don't know all that sort of stuff comes off this side of the island so sometimes when I've been down here flying over I've seen things so it's always worth a look uh, there's a couple of people down there riding horses which is pretty cool so. right well a little walk about there not suitably caffeinated while doing so, I brought a coffee with. Um, yeah, no basking sharks or killer whales or anything today, but you know, I'll take it. Saw some horses. Right, I've got a bit of a bit of a trek now. Gotta get myself sorted. Uh need to head up into the hills, uh, into some forest sort of uh, landscape, uh, to the hidden valley. Let's do it. <laughs> Um... Problem with going to somewhere called the Hidden Valley is it's proper hilly. It's not till you realise how much weight's in your backpack. Yeah. Got a bit of a dab on. Only been out of the house about half an hour and I've already seen four horses. Love the outdoors, mate. Love it. This is it's a Hidden Valley. Down there is roughly where I'm going to camp. Uh, it's still a bit breezy to bang up the drone, but it's due to calm down. So once we get over there, I'll get to it. Wow, what a place. Wow, what do you think of this place? Gotta be honest with you, it's an absolute find. Uh, it wasn't the easiest thing to find. I was on Google Maps, having a look, couldn't find it. Um, in the end, the person whose Instagram it was, I actually just uh, gave them a shout. This place reminds me a lot of New Zealand, uh, especially North Island, it's amazing. So I've got my tent, I've got a 35 pound tent. <laughs> I bought from Blacks uh, and uh, I've got a hammock so I'm going to set both of those up somewhere I'm going to have, going to have a look around and see what we're, uh, what we're all about um, if you're new to this channel I fly paramotors primarily but I'm just getting into this wild camping business as you can tell by someone who's camping with a £35 tent don't really know what I'm doing uh, but I mean who doesn't love the outdoors so uh, yeah 
you like a bit of adventure, something a bit different, subscribe. Let's do it. spot as any okay so uh yeah one thing is it's only my second ever wild camp uh, my first one was pre-lockdown i'll put a link to the video up here yeah, i've done two lockdown garden camps since uh fucking hell midgy straight in the air bastard still in there good one <laughs> um and uh thing i will I, I i do respect is uh leave no trace so um, anything I bring with me, whether it's um, got a few burgers later, any of the packaging, um, anything at all, I will uh, I'll take back with me. I'm not I will not into littering. I all that respect. Uh, you might be wondering why I can camp and why the UK can't. Uh, simple thing is, I don't live in mainland UK. We have our own government, and uh, although I can't fly, I can camp. Right now, I'd rather camp than fly. This is this is beautiful. Let's get to it. Try to find a pitch. Just having a walk around, I think. That there is looking like a good pitch spot. Right by the river, not too close, so I'll get eaten alive by midges. And uh, potentially, hammock, oop, hammock spot as well. We can do but try. Never even actually uh, unboxed this tent. I think I opened it. But my previous tent, which I got a bit of uh, admin for on uh, comments, was uh, bright orange. So uh, something a bit more stealthy, I think. So this one is actually green, so let's... Uh, can't be too much different, can it? All right, this is the tent. Eurohike Backpacker 2 DLX. That's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, I've spent more than a round of shots than I have for this tent, so a bit of luck. Doesn't look too shabby over there. Let's give it a go. Tell you what, 35 quid. Yeah, I'm not using those guy lines at the back. No need. There's no wind here. 35 quid. It's got everything I want for, for this camp anyway. Quite happy with my pitch. Now let's dive in and have a better look at the tent. Okay. Okay, so we got a decent vestibule area. Um, so I can put the outer tent up first uh, in the event of pissing down and then you've got your inner one There she is a uh, little hatch at the back which you can uh, undo to have a look out I suppose but Yeah, plenty of room much bigger than my other one um, I'll do some more in here later when I get my sleep system going Okay. Next mission is hammock. Never put a hammock up before. Right, well, this is shaping up to be pretty, pretty damn epic camp setup I've got going on here. As you've just seen, I've got my uh, little Euro hike two person tent uh, or one real person. Um, and then I've got my OEX Bush Pro top, not top, Bush Pro hammock. Um, first time I've ever set up a hammock. Uh, I've got to say, it's, it's not rocket science, uh, but I know uh, there's probably better ways to do this, so don't hate on me too much. Right, let's give it a go. I actually, um, it's got like a mozzie net on the top. I used uh, um, hammock uh, straps, which I bought on Amazon. Uh, to be honest, I know you can do it with, um, with, with ropes, etc., or, or even some uh, paracord, but why make it hard for yourself? They weigh next to nothing, so I, I'm good for that. 
Uh, righto. Try not, try not to fall over getting in. Probably no good way of doing this. All right, so this is going to be my camp seat because I don't have one. Uh, it's quite rocky around here. Um, let's get in, shall we? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> not going to lie. I don't think it gets any better than this. Hmm. Definitely we'll be going on some uh, solo wild camps with just this. This setup is weighs nothing. Um, if you don't know, my, my goal is to fly my paramotor somewhere. Not This wouldn't be a great place because it's a valley, so I'd get rotor, rotary air in the middle here, uh, which makes for a fun landing. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for lightweight camp setups. I know that that two-man tent isn't uh, lightweight, but this is fucking epic. Let's closer look, shall we? Okay, so yeah, these straps just go around the tree. And you connect, you've got multiple, multiple points you can connect to, depending on how far away the trees are. Little carabiner. And um, they're certainly rated for my my ass, fat ass. <laughs> uh, then we got the Bush Pro, OEX Bush Pro, little beauty. Um, same on the other side. We do have this little uh, thing here for the Mojinet, which you can adjust from the inside, so... Let's get in. Right, this is the view from my hammock. There's the tent. Ignore the tripod. I am a one-man filmmaking amateur. On the other side, look at the valley. Uh, time is currently 8 p.m. at night, so probably another hour of sunlight left. So hear that water running down there. That fault in the old building is just back, back over there. Right, I think what I'll do now is um, go for a quick walk around and then um, make tea, burgers tonight. Crack open that JD as well. Let's do it. Okay, what's on the menu for tonight's tea? Two uh, Welsh Dragon Butcher Special Burgers. I uh, got two sandwich thins with some cheddar cheese. And for afters, I have a nice cookie. Um, I have my jet boil with my pot support. And then I've got this little um, lightweight pan, which I'll sit on there. And uh, probably won't need it, but I've got coconut oil as well, so let's do it. Self-leveling there with the old stone. Right, they can work away. Let's switch camera. Wind's picked up. I'm glad I got the, uh, got the drone out when I did. I'm not sure I'll get it out again. You see by the hammock, she's blowing around. Tell you what, I'm ready for this. Normally I'd be tea by now. Jet boils are so fast, aren't they? I know there's lots of other cheaper stoves on the market, like what well, I have to say, it's a beast. So I've probably got another 30 minutes before uh, sunset. Um, it was looking quite clear, but I have a feeling it's gonna cloud over. Um, I will set the GoPro up uh, for some, if it does catch any of the stars at night, but it's not looking too good today, to be honest. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Mm. 
Right, I'll come back to you when this is ready. Okay, let's have a look at the sleep system in here. Right now, okay, so, you've seen this before if you're watching any of my videos, the Intrepid 1000 three season sleeping bag, super lightweight. Uh, I got this little mat from Amazon, it's nothing special, but you know what, I've used it oh, it's the fourth time now, it's pretty good. Uh, little light hanging from there, let's get in. My daughter's pink Kindle, which I've put some Netflix on, because who doesn't want to watch some movies or something, there's much, much more space than the other one. Uh, not a bad view, it's going to be good to wake up to in the morning. Let's just uh, pull that this way. So there we go. Um, made up with that. Check back in here later anyway. On the home street now, the uh, cheese is on. I am ravenous. Two of these little beauties might not look much, but I tell you what, they're going to do the job. Plenty of midges about. Glad for that uh, internet. And uh, joys of being by a river. Let that soak in the uh, sink. I'll give it a good scrub after. Winning. I just put the shirt on a while back there, it was getting a bit chilly. By no means cold, but I got a bit of a dab on before hiking up here. And uh, I think some of the sweat was getting cold on my back, but it's dried off now. Well, let's get these in me. Made up with this little spot. Eat these. And I'll go get my uh, drinks out of the river. Go for a wander. Had a bit of a drone incident. Didn't crash it, but uh, nothing like that. But the little um, sort of flat uh, lightning connector that goes into the uh, the iPhone, you know, for um, the controller, broke off when I. Uh, I'm just heavy-handed. Right, anyway, my mic's right here and all I'm doing is chomping. Sorry about that. It's time for you, my friend. It's going down a storm, this. So the beach I was at was just a good few miles that way. Just finished my uh, walkabout. Um, oh, the sun is starting to go down. A few clouds appearing behind me if you have a look up. Yeah. Um, wow. What a place. Check this out. All these different uh, little outbuildings, river nearby. Just incredible, proper epic. Um, I've had my burger now, feel quite happy about that. Uh, drank my JD, I'm only having one just in case for you never know, I uh, need to leave for any reason. That being said, I haven't got any phone signal down here, so I have sent, anyone seen that app, uh, What Three Words? Uh, I did check out where I, my location was and sent, sent it to the other half, so. Shit hits the fan, she knows where I am. Time to go back to camp. And we're back at camp. There we go. Just retired to the hammock. Uh, zipped the mozzie net up because uh, the little bastards were, uh, the midges were everywhere. So, uh, yeah, I've also put the down jacket on, it's starting to get cold now. Uh, I've got a woolly hat down here if I need it. What I'm doing is I'm going to uh, watch some Netflix, uh, some pre-downloaded stuff on my uh, daughter's Kindle, and then uh, see where we're at after that. Watch the sun go down. Not that you can really see it back there, but yeah. What a night. What a night. 
Thanks for coming along, by the way, everybody. If you've uh, stuck through this far, much appreciated. Right. <laughs> Beautiful sky. Now, that is what my camp looks like from here. You can hardly see it. I know this is going to look grainy as fuck, but the people of the tube were right. The tent blends in well. Uh, olive, not my bright red one. Uh, I am going to drop the hammock uh, when I go down in the tent just to keep my stealthness up. Should anybody, not that I've seen a soul the entire time of being here, decide to have a wander. Okay, appreciate you can't see me, so shed a bit of light on the situation. Uh, time is 10 p.m. Sun has officially gone down about half an hour ago. Uh, this is end of May ish. Um, Needs to get out and have a piss. Might have a bit of mooch around and then uh, eat some more food. Got that cookie to get through. I'll come back to you later. Okay, so for those who are interested in how stealthy this tent is, uh, I've just taken the uh, fluorescent guys off. It's not windy, as you can see blends in very nicely. Right, it's uh, half, tw half 11 now. Uh, it's pitch black outside now. Uh, I fanned around a bit with a GoPro. Um, I've tried to set a, a night lapse photo, um, sort of time lapse thing on. Uh, couldn't remember the settings, so uh, yeah, let's see how that turns out. If it does, I'll show it after this. Uh, I've got the Kindle on with Netflix. Uh, I've just ate some more food. This, honestly, I'm loving it. I can hear the river. I haven't seen a single person since I've been here. I suppose it is the Hidden Valley. Um, mega. I'll just show you the um, bottom of the tent. Alright, so yeah, in the sleeping bag. Um, I've just unzipped, so there's two zips in here. One is for um, the like fly net bit, to stop any midges getting in. Uh, and then this other one which I've unzipped is just uh, the cover to keep there. Um, so I can see fully outside. Not right now because it's pitch black, but it should be quite nice because I think I'm pointed roughly in the direction of the sunrise. So we'll see how that goes. So, uh, see you in the morning, unless anything uh, eventful happens, in which case I'll might see you then. <laughs> morning. Not a bad view to wake up to, Not bad at all. Morning. Well, what a nice sleep that was. Brilliant it was. It's pretty early, it's uh, just after 5.30 in the morning. Um, sun is just coming up. I think what I'm going to do is uh, have a bit of a tidy up here and then um, get something to eat. So. Need a wee first. Oh. Right, that's me fully made up. Uh, as I said before, leave no trace. All my rubbish, everything's in the bag. Uh, gonna have a bit of a wander and then uh, eat this breakfast. Nothing exciting for breakfast, guys, so uh, it's not really worth showing you, but I'll show you anyway. Because <laughs> that's what we do. 
Just a sachet of oats, which I'll boil some water with a jet boil. I'll have a coffee. And I've got one of these grenade carb killer bars. I don't know, protein bar, quite nice. Right, well, this little pitch did me well, didn't it? Look at that, it's beautiful. Made up with that. Uh, definitely, definitely be coming back here. Sun is just starting to peek over the top of those hills. Still, it's only about 6 a.m. Right then, that's me fully packed up, all good to go. Um, just before I do, thanks again for stopping by. I'm going to just uh, ping up the drone. It's not a breath of wind. Uh, find another cable I can use. And then that's it. See you on the next one, guys.